Space and Airborne Systems division encompasses a wide range of products from high energy lasers to special mission aircraft. The newly appointed president, Roy Azevedo, has joined me today to talk about some of those products and his emerging priorities for the division. So we're working on, on several priorities. Uh, top three priorities for us are evolving the business culture. Uh, priority will always be meeting customers' needs and then extending our ISR portfolio, market position, is a priority. The business culture is very important to us because of the number of people that we have hired just in the last year to year and a half and the number of people, thousands of people that will be hired and continue for the next few years. So one of the emerging solutions that you're providing at the moment of course and has been really present here at Paris Air Show is that counter UAS capability. So how is that looking going forward within your division? So we, uh, two years ago, and uh, when I talk about culture, one of the things that we need to benefit from is the evolving threat and the evolving environment. We're hearing the U.S. Department of Defense saying we need to move faster. We're hearing international customers saying we need to move faster. We've got international customers that have the counter UAS as a threat. And one of the things that we've been able to do in the last couple of years is from clean sheet to a demonstrator shooting down drones. We've shot 90 drones down with our demonstrator. And so when we step back as Raytheon, what we're recommending and what we're discussing with customers is a layered defense. Layered defense meaning that we have jamming solutions, we have directed energy solutions, high energy lasers, and we have kinetics on kinetics. And so when we talk to customers, there is likely a chance that customers will want to use the jamming first and perhaps if that doesn't work then using a different solution whether it be directed energy or weapon on weapon. And you mentioned ISR as an emerging priority as well. Can you just explain a little bit about what you mean by that? I can. One, one of the offerings that we have is special mission aircraft and while we as a company Space and Airborne Systems is the leading provider to the U.S. Air Force for electro-optical and infrared turrets. We are the Navy's number one provider for wide area surveillance radars. And while I can't go into a lot of detail, we're also a leading provider of ISR space-based solutions. Special Mission Aircraft and the ISR is where we are looking to provide global solutions, uh, what we call multi-int or multi-intelligence, meaning that it's an offering for ISR that's beyond just a radar. You have radars, electro-optical infrared, you have signal intelligence, you have communications intelligence, so that you have all of those sensors available to you for the ISR. And it is an area where we would expect continued need and continued growth. Brilliant. Well, thank you so much for that insight into the Space and Airborne Systems Division here at Raytheon. Thank you.